Hey Subodh. Ah, uh, hi Sakti Dharan. Yeah, how are you? Ah, uh, I am fine, thank you. How are you? So, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for joining. So, can we get started? Ah, uh, yeah. So, can you start by giving a small brief about yourself? And uh, as a tech stack, um, we are using Open JDK 8, Spring Boot, Spring MVC, Spring JPA, Hibernate, JUnit, and Mockito, and a Docker. And for database, uh, we are using the Aurora MySQL. And for uh, cloud front, we are using the AWS cloud. And uh, the services we are using the ECS, ECR, S3, CloudFront, Redshift, Elasticsearch. Now, to get started, I would like to understand the design that has gone into your project. Yeah. So I see that uh, the name of your project. Mm-hmm. or uh, the last project so what's the name of your last project i see only the role and the company yeah the last project uh, we use the uh, currently just finish the data visualization and mm-hmm. before that we have worked on the elvin projects so any experience with microservices uh, yeah. the tech stack that we are looking at is uh, microservices kafka and mongodb along with java a little bit of experience with apache spark would be great Uh, yeah so uh, kafka we have not used mm-hmm. um uh, apache mq we have used we we have uh, i i have experience uh, microservices mm-hmm. and uh, here uh, uh, we deploy our application on aws uh, mm-hmm. uh, as a docker uh, c- container uh, okay and uh, we use uh, a aws clustering Okay. And uh, it is uh, like a configured. The definition is a configured. Services is a configured, and uh, we we have configured the uh, two API gateway, mm-hmm. uh, uh, to auth service, and uh, for uh, we use the JWT token. And there is a twenty services, Docker services, and the, all the services are running on a Netty server. Netty server. Okay. Okay. Because uh, we are not talking on uh, Docker as of now, but uh, we'll go into microservices for now. Okay. So, what are the features that you're using in microservices? What What do you mean by Eureka? Eureka is a it is a discovery service. So, whenever we deploy any application, the all the um, uh, services are registered uh, to the Eureka. So, when okay. any API calls from the goes through the API gateway, first it checks that whether the uh, the user has a permission or not by calling the API. Uh, sorry auth auth service and then checks that ki whether the services are available or not if services is available i mean ki registered uh, on a eureka so then the api gateway routes that uh, request to the respective service okay say you say you have a couple of microservices so how do you communicate mm-hmm. between both of it uh by so you want to call service a from service b uh so in a microservice we use the web client web client uh, yeah so web client uh, is a class which is used to access the uh, one service from another so do you mean fain client sorry or rest temp- do you mean fain client or rest template or there is something no, called no, as web client there is a web client no there is a difference between rest client and web client is web client is used for the asynchronous communication and okay. rest client is a synchronous communication and for this all these projects we are using the reactive program very good very good so i have not used web client so far that's a good thing to know so can you uh just let me know on how you call a service through web client so what okay. is it that differentiates it from rest template yeah so in a rest template basically when we call one service and uh, if there is any uh, le- le- let's say um uh, uh, from one service uh, we want to call the multiple services right mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. through the rest template it it is asynchronous uh, sorry it is a synchronous synchronous means that it it calls one by one okay, okay. but uh, in a asynchronous suppose that uh, so we call one service so so before uh, on a before calling the another service we have to wait that but in a web web client it is not like that it calls the another service it does not wait okay okay 
So if you if you need, I can draw the architecture how application is. Yeah, that would be great. So I okay. would like to understand how your application uh, is working. Yeah. So now total we have a five UI. So mm -hmm. that is a different. So let's say I have a here a API client. Okay. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, it is a API gateway. So on a production we have two API gateway, but right now we can discuss only one API gateway, and we have a. Uh, this is the discovery and this is the auth service and apart from that we have a, a number of services over here okay and here we have a number of applications where we use this apis and apart from the internal client this uh, uh, our client means the livex have a, their own automated customer on automated customer in the sense that this api can be accessed outside their company so these are the various applications it is a developing spring mbc so no need to uh, put the name of the application over here not required just okay just tell okay. me how yeah say like you can just tell it like uh, how a works or a communicates with what on what is the database servers are using yeah, yeah, yeah. any security implementations that you've done like yes. gateway etc mm -hmm. yeah so first first is a, it is a api gateway when any and one thing i would like to share over here on api gateway we have written the filter using that filter whatever the request comes from the client all the request and response is we are storing in the log file that is that is the on ecs environment so this api gateway is a uh, api gateways it is a uh, api gateway mm -hmm. and it is on ec uh, ec2 instance e, ec2 instance mm -hmm. okay so when request comes first uh, uh, it will like a uh, ch check that so uh, this is this is the you can see the auth service and these are the services various services let's say call the elvin service okay and uh, uh, these are the services and uh, okay so when any ap uh, request comes uh, uh, we log that request and then it checks that what whether the services is available or not if the service is available then we have written the one auth service the ops or this auth service is integrated in a, all the services while we create a docker image okay so and the, this auth service we have a, a and we we have another application we have another application which is a well uh, uh, uh this is the lx web basically we have a web okay and all these databases is uh, access the one database that is the uh, livex web we can say or livex web okay and apart from this so okay let's say connect it so when any request comes over here it takes uh, that api is available or not if api is available so then uh, it goes to the auth service the auth service check that ki whether this user has a permission or not by calling the by calling the api from the web okay so but recently uh, by the, we have a develop one api over here so here it will pass the uh, we have a two things for authentication one is a, a client a client secret and client key one thing okay so the, this client key and client secret pass to this uh, web and checks that and then so what 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 is the tool that you're using to test the microservices uh, we use the postman and uh, for the automation we use the cucumber cucumber okay okay so what kind of automation do you do using cucumber uh cucumber like all the um, it is a uh, no it is a automation Okay. I mean, see, in that case, the so, our services. So, so, okay. So, coming into place. those, coming into those lines. So, do you have a kind of a repository where you store all your jars? Uh, so, what is the repository where you store your jars called? No, no. We we use, let's say, we use uh, AWS, right? In no, 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 no. This is a, this is a totally different question. So, so uh, where do you? So, once you build your microservice, okay, yeah, right. So, wh where where exactly do your 
jars and your yeah okay artifacts okay. go yes so you know the same thing i i actually i was explaining that we use a docker image okay, okay. so uh, when we build the applications the docker image is created for all the services okay which will go on the A- aws and so okay. once the docker image is created then we push this docker image to ecr okay uh, it is a ecr plastic container repository okay okay on aws on aws side so on a cluster cluster is a link with the definition not definition service service in a cluster we can have a number of service services each service is a connected with a task task or we can say the definition mm-hmm. in the definition basically we define how many memory is required what is the uh, like a cp how 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 many cpu is required what is the uh, uh, only this one whether we have a um, enable log or not that will store in the cloud watch so Uh, that is the very costly so that's why client disable that log and then mm-hmm. this this definition is a link with the ecr okay okay so, so we, you're storing your repositories in ecr that's what i wanted yeah so, okay so you you're not using anything like so since you're using aws you're trying to make use of all the features available there okay we use artifactory here have you heard about artifactory uh, no i have not okay okay so okay so you have explained a bit about what you know with respect to microservices okay so in case there is a shutdown or in case there is some kind of a downtime with respect to a particular service mm-hmm. so how do you handle that from your end say like there are 10 services and say the seventh the services from 7 8 9 are not responding they are not giving you responses mm-hmm. so how will you handle that from the microservices end right now we are not uh, handling this one but there is a uh, one uh, microservice pattern the circuit mm-hmm. breaker that can be used. but uh, to be very frank we are not using that we are using the auto scaling feature on the aws when any service is goes down so automatically the system creates a new instance of the existing service it is auto scaling okay so how do you ensure uh, for reliability and resiliency do you do any checks if there is some server that's gone down or something has gone up so how do you get that communication but no it is not implemented but uh, we are we, we uh, the, in a next phase we will uh, like a client says that we need to implement the such kind of like if any services goes down so then how we can rectify it because all these services are not uh, like a tr- transactional service uh, so that's why they kept this uh, this is in the next phase okay okay so okay that's pretty much what i had but uh, one last question so have you used zool no we have not used uh, there is there is a one uh, house project so there we have used the zool but it is uh, like so what is the, what is the use of it uh, it is just like a spring cloud as by under understand but it is not like i am not spring sure that cloud so do you mean to say um eureka is not part of spring cloud yeah eureka is a part of a spring cloud then APA what exactly is meant by zool so uh, i am very sorry i not like I okay okay if you're not used to it, that's fine that's fine so as i see your resume so you have you so coming to the database side okay yeah. so we have seen a bit of microservices let's go to the java end a little later we'll just quickly check a, a bit of database knowledge and we'll go back to java okay okay sure so with respect to dbms so you have used rdbms as well as no sql right yeah we we do not use the no oh you have not used no sql uh, we are using mysql no uh, do you know what is the no sql framework so what is the no sql database no sql is a, uh, like a mongo mongo db where we, the rdbms concept is not there the file is stored in a in a flat file and any kind of object we can store okay so not much of exposure with respect to no sql right yeah 
okay so rdbms so you're pretty much well versed with rdbms so can you explain what is acid what is a acid acid a acid basically it is uh, <coughs> related to the transaction a, a, a means the automaticity um, c means the consistency isolation durability a means automaticity means that when any transaction starts so it should commit uh, uh, like I and, okay i get it i get it so now let's go to jpa then so okay. now you have your spring boot microservices running and you want to connect your database say like both mysql and oracle together mm -hmm. so how do you handle transactions and how do you connect uh, a table to a, bo uh, a pojo class okay so but in my application we have a i i discuss here the only one database but we have a three four uh, three databases right so for each databases we have a separate module and each module connects with a, a separate database okay and we add the module which database i want to use it and uh, this is the connection part uh, we have a uh, spring profile specific uh, database connection information okay and this is the connection part and how we use that let's say we have a database so uh, we have a table in uh, and uh, with respect to the table we have entity class okay and uh, with the respect of entity class we have a repository interface not a class interface by extending the jpa repository okay and we have to pass the what is the uh, but there is a two parameter first one is entity class second one is a primary key and the some specific uh, some standard methods are already defined in the um, uh, jpa repository but apart from that we can define our own method um, so that basically spring jpa automatically one question here sorry to interrupt you okay yes. so say if there is a table a and table b okay mm -hmm. say we can make it as like a employee and department okay right. Mm -hmm. So employee is having a relationship with department one using the ID column, department ID column. Okay. So if you want to, so, okay, say there is going to be a relation between employee and department. So how do you call this uh, relationship as, is it going to be one to many or many to one? No, one department, um, uh, like, a... so you're calling this from you're trying to refer to the department from your employee class employee to department. employee entity employee entity yeah ah, em employee department it is a uh, uh, one to many one to many one dip one employee can not belongs to the many department so mm -hmm. uh, one to one you sure yeah and if it's going to be department to employee so department employees so one department in a one department can belongs to the many employees so then many to one many to one okay so now i have a question okay yeah. so say can you write down this eid employee id eid name and did okay which is department eid, ID. EID, EID name uh -huh. age sorry Age, age, age. Ah, yeah, age. And DID, which is department ID. DID. Okay, so now, if you're using JPQL, Java Persistence Query Language, if you're trying to use the repository interface, as you said, mm -hmm. if you want to query the data from here, and if you want to display EID, name, age, and DID, mm -hmm. how will you write a query for that? Uh, query or method? And it, so how will you fetch the data? I just want to fetch uh, the records for employee ID 1. Uh, so how will I... Okay, it means that we will pass the employee ID, right? Correct. Okay. So let For this, we need to have a repository class defined and you need to write a JPQL using some, a simple thing like select employee. E from employee where uh, E dot E ID is EID. equal to with the parameter 1. Whatever. Okay. The... And if you want to fetch DID, you can just fetch the, e, dot DID dot, e dot department dot DID. Entity so that's the answer I'm expecting. For the DID. Let's see how it goes. The exact uh, like a, uh, from EM. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, we can and go to the next. We can pass the 
parameters so it no no oh, my three. question was different it, if you just give select e from employee e where e dot eid is uh -huh. equal to from the parameter so from the parameter you need to put a question mark there and pass the parameter yeah, and this then one question mark no question mark is in the like okay uh, uh, yeah anyways you can do it anyways but uh, you can pass either question mark or like however you want to pass it but i just wanted to verify how you can uh, fetch the records from a simple entity just a simple select star that's about it okay then shall we go into java now yeah okay can you open up another window or another tab yeah so i want you to write a simple list and add some elements into it okay uh to make it better can you create a person class person with id age and gender the, uh, uh, this has to be a class okay please create a class in a proper format okay because i just wanted you to make use of uh, the get i don't want to access the public uh, variable directly sorry private variable directly mm -hmm. so if you could try using the getter so are you able to access the get method no 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 within within the uh, anonymous method are you able to get use the person dot get age get age yes, yes. yeah that that is a better practice not accessing the variable directly oh oh yeah and similar way can you try using a lambda expression greater than or equal to right i'm oh, sorry and now comes the real part i want you to print only the age so you found out the way to access the filter so have you not used filter no i used it uh, okay okay but uh, so try to print it out i don't want to disturb you know <laughs> will you be able to use a method interface within a lambda okay so you've got it filtered so what does the filter return a uh, filter will return the um, those object uh, whose uh, age is greater than uh, 45 correct so what are you trying to achieve after putting comma because now you filtered so my understanding is like your operation within this bracket is over now after you filter it can you not iterate over it yeah and then can you not print out age what was the system let's say i am using the traditional way mm -hmm. get age or age or yeah just the age just just the yeah. elements just the same 45 and 50 that's it now you can comment that out perfect perfect so now you got the answer okay so on a similar way i want you to do one more thing okay so we are almost there we i want i want you to create a map okay i want you to create a map with a similar uh, what do you say structure say age Sorry. age and the person okay age as a key and the person object say like add three in the elements. same in the same class or in a different one same same thing you can do it you can do it just mm -hmm. add create a map mm -hmm. add age comma object mm -hmm. age comma person so i want you to just put in age and the person okay mm -hmm. and uh, you need to add yeah person list or map okay i want you to add three values for this Mm-hmm. 
has one extra bracket the new it's not needed yeah 35 45 50 let the name remain whatever it yeah so i want you to iterate through this map and print out a concatenation of name and age so name colon age i want to print out something like sks colon 35 ram colon 45 sks colon 50 just give me a moment you can work on this meanwhile yeah okay sure so you're able to print it out yeah perfect perfect okay so coming to the final question uh, i'll need you to create an array an integer array in a different in a connection in the same class not an issue okay, no not problem. an issue okay not an issue fine yeah just create an array integer array with say 10 elements integer an array and nums let's say num1 anything and add a combination of zeros and ones 10 elements should be there uh, can you dynamically initialize it using how will you dynamically initialize it just by putting it into curly braces there's a way to initialize it right let's say 10 okay using the for loop can i any slice from 1 to 10 or or only no, zeros only one zero ones only okay fine. zeros four zeros mm -hmm. and uh, five to six ones in an interchange mm -hmm. manner i i don't think we need a loop here man it will not be possible just initialize it You don't need to put a new integer of 10. Remove that. Yeah. So one, now you've got 1, 2, two three, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just put two more. Nine, okay. Ten. So now I what, what I want you to do is like all the zeros should be on the left hand side and all the ones should be on the right hand side. I want you to only use arrays. Oh, sorry, I could not understand. The zeros should be on ah. the left hand side and the ones should be on the right hand side. How will you arrange it in such a manner? Okay. So you get my point, right? Zero, 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 zero. So six zeros on the left and five zeros on the right. Sorry, five ones on the right. Yeah. Uh, can you not, uh, can you try not using the arrays dot sort? Okay, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's easy, man. Uh, yeah, so actually, condition comes later. Mm -hmm. mm, like, uh, let's say, use, uh, uh, can I use the Java 8? Anything, anything. Just a minute. I'm just attending another call. Just a okay, minute. Okay, fine, fine. So we are again trying to use the sort method, right? So is it possible to not using the sort? Can you try implementing the sort logic yourself? There's just a sort between 0 and 1. 
so mm. i just want you to try that and left exactly. side and right exactly side. So exactly in that, in that case uh, uh, can you use a map mm. why do you need a map for this no 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 it is not like that Uh, just thing. just think out of the box it's just a very very you've done all the tough parts mm -hmm. i think this is a pretty easy one mm -hmm. for you so let's say because i'm not even asking you to sort from 1 2 3 or ah, whatever yes so if we get another number will you be creating another list sorry Say if you have another number, say three no, and four. No, I can. I I can understand that this is not a proper logic. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have a various way to short it and get it by using the system defined for like. So any any method. such way that any such way that you can think of. Yes, in a Java, using the Java eight, we can get the value of that. No, a simple array, a simple array manipulation is enough. because i don't want you to create multiple lists over here mm -hmm. the logic should be in the num1 i will check from the first element to the next element if it is greater than so if the first the zeroth element is a uh, greater than the first elements then it will swap it so that i can use it the another logic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. can you try that if it is then i just uh, yeah yeah you are almost there i just want you to use the um, swap logic ah so yes. you you know how to swap uh, three numbers without a temp variable uh, or two num uh, two numbers without uh, a temp variable a similar kind of a logic yes 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 i i understand it a bit of a clue for you mm mm-hmm. No, it does not work. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, do you have any questions for me? Ah, uh, no. I think uh, it it's fine. So. Okay. So, what thank you. Of, what kind of role you are looking in? What kind of project you have for which? Yeah. So you have around eleven uh, years of experience, right? So we yeah. are looking for a person who's good in design, mm -hmm. and who's like uh, going to work more than. Eighty percent on coding, so it's yes. not going to be kind of a manager, a managerial role or something. We are yes. looking for people who are hands-on. Mm. Uh, it's a very senior role that we are looking at. So you'll need to mentor people, and you'll need to uh, train junior folks who are going to come under you. Okay. And you'll be reporting to a manager, and yeah. uh, that's about it. So, and the tech stack that we are looking is uh, predominantly with microservices and uh, strong core Java. uh with a uh, basic uh, dsn al algorithms not really in the uh realms of uh, sorting or uh, searching like all the complex algorithms just some basic algos should be enough okay and uh, we are also looking at people who are uh, good at microservices which you are okay. and uh, kafka and mongodb as i told you and a bit of spark so that's the role for you so It was a nice discussion. Uh, so we'll reach out to you when uh, I after I provide the feedback. Uh, HR may reach out to you. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time, Subodh. Okay. Thank All you. All the best. Take care. Yeah. Bye.